Hi guys and welcome to our second official class. Today we're going to be learning about da -da -da -da, shot size. However, before we move any further, let me just point out, yes, I am wearing the same thing that I was wearing in yesterday's lecture. Guess what? I'm recording as many of these in the same day as possible. So don't worry, I do actually change clothes at some point. Okay, so depth or shot size is going to be our topic for today. We're going to start off with a hook. I've got a clip from Ant-Man, and I'm going to commit a cardinal sin and actually talk while it's going on. I know. How rude. Then we are going to watch another video coach, which is going to actually teach us about the three basic types of shots, wide, medium, and tight. And then I'm going to do a quick lecture and expand on that idea, and then we'll have an exit ticket. Okay? You guys ready? All right. Here's our hook. Okay, as we're watching this, I want for you to pay attention to how many times the actual size of the shot changes. You remember this from yesterday? That was a pan up. That is what we would call a medium shot, by the way. That would be a wide. That was a medium. That one and over the shoulder, which we're not going to talk about. Now that was fun because it goes from a medium shot to a wide shot. You might even call that an extreme wide shot. That's a tight or a close up. And back to the extreme wide. The world sure seems different from down here, doesn't it, Scott? What? Who, who, who said that? Figure out what size that is? How about this one? It's a trial by fire, Scott. Or in this case, water. you're tougher than you thought. Okay, so, fun way to start, I hope. I hope you guys like Marvel. If you don't, hmm, you can't talk, sorry. Just kidding. All right, so, next up, uh, we're going to listen to Video Coach again, and they're going to tell us all about the basic, the three basic shots, wide, medium, and tight. There are really only three kinds of shots in the world of video journalism. There are wide shots, medium shots, and tight shots. Let's talk about each one of these shots. We started with a wide shot. Wide shots, or establishing shots as they're sometimes called, give an overall feel for the setting and surrounding. These shots establish where your story is taking place. In this wide shot, it's obvious that we're in an arcade. There's some guy playing pinball. Medium shots give a little less setting, but a little more detail. You can start to focus in on a specific area. In this case, the guy's still playing pinball. And last, the tight shot. Sometimes called a close-up, we call it a tight shot. Tight shots give a really nice detail to your shot that you can't get from a wide or medium shot. You can see the light, the color, the machine, the details. The metal ball bouncing around. Let's look at another example. See if you can notice the wide, medium, and tight shots. The wide shot establishes that we're in some sort of a park. This guy's alone. Perhaps he was stood up by his baseball friends. Who knows? The medium shot gives a little more detail, and the tight shot shows a nice amount of detail. You can see the thread on the baseball, the creases on the leather glove. And it's the combination of these three kinds of shots that give your viewers both the overall setting and the rich detail of what you're shooting. And it does so on almost a subconscious level without the viewer realizing what's happening. It's very natural. 
The point to shooting wide, medium, and tight shots is to give yourself something to work with in the edit bay. When you shoot something, ask yourself, did I get a wide, a medium, and a tight of it? Wide, medium, and tight shots are so important because they're the building blocks of the subject of chapter three, sequences. And we're back, almost. Hi guys, oops, ah, there we go. Sorry about that. So we're back. All right, so now we are going to talk about how close the camera is to the subject, also meaning our wide, medium, and tight shots. Okay, so again, let me reiterate what was said on the video. For each subject of interest, that could be an object, it can be a person, you get one shot that's far away to show everything that shows the setting, your establishing shot or your wide shot. You get your second shot that is close enough to see what's going on. That's your medium shot. And then a third shot that's very close and that is your tight shot. Now to expand on that, we're going to expand into six basic shot sizes. You have your extreme wide shot. Here we have a park, and it shows a lot of the park, okay? It's really far away. You can't really see too much, but if you look right here where the finger is, you think there may be a person there somewhere. Now we've got the wide shot. Remember what I said yesterday about there being more than one word? Well, in this case, Instead of wide, we can use the word long. So wide shots, long shots, both mean the same thing. Again, we're establishing the setting, and now we get a better idea that there is, in fact, a person there. Full shot is the full body. So that falls somewhere between the wide shot and the medium shot. Medium shots generally are from the belly button up, all right? So from the belly button to the top of the head, that's your medium shot. Your, whoops, your full shot gets the full body. So it's not quite a wide shot, but it's not, it's too big for a medium shot too, all right? Next up, we've got the medium shot. So again, from the belly button-ish up, belly button to chest, somewhere in there, medium. And then we've got our tight shots, also known as a close-up. Now you can get in a little bit tighter. They say that the eyes are the window to a person's soul. So oftentimes in film, when someone's going crazy, when someone's extremely sad, when someone's surprised, you zoom in on those eyes. So this is an extreme tight or extreme close-up shot. All right? And that's it. That's all we're talking about today. So. Now, for your exit ticket, I want for you to go back and review those six types of shots. Write them down. Email those shots to me so that I know that you know what they are. All right, and I will see, hopefully, as many of you as possible on WebEx. See you guys.